Welcome to Chihuahua, one of the largest and most beautiful states in the whole of Mexico, full of magnificent mountains and jaw-dropping waterfalls. But there is a dark side to this beauty. With a homicide rate of 76 per 100,000 inhabitants and the ongoing rival battle between the Juarez cartel and the Sinaloa cartel, this makes it one of the most violent states in all of Mexico. It is advised not to travel to this region on many government websites, including the UK and the US. But what is it really like for ordinary people to visit, like me and you? Well, me, Abby and the leaky tranny van entered into the state through Sonora to find out for ourselves. Looking up, this is our morning routine that we do. You mean break into the Marriott? Or well, sometimes we break into the Marriott for breakfast. <laughs> Sun's literally gonna come up in about half an hour, so it's just getting light, and we're gonna start our long voyage down through Chihuahua, cartel country, to uh, a national park I can't pronounce. Uh, Cascada Parque Nacional de Basasesi, I think. of cartel country and there's no one out here no cartels around just us in the small town of Namakipa in the middle of Chihuahua I'm gonna wander around and try find some tacos and see the town's main sites so it looks like there's some kind of fun fair in town happening at the moment. Hola. Ooh, look what we've just found. So good to tap there. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so we got a bad behind us. Cabo de ella. Cabo de ella. Como me gusta los ojos de esa morena So yeah, everyone's friendly and playful here in cartel country. And all the four wheels are still on the on the van. It's not how you imagine, is it, in Chihuahua? <laughs> Arrived at a destination, Cascada de Si, de Inglaterra. Ok. La cascada está para allá. Sí. Pero ahí va el caminito. Ahí enfrente. Ahí enfrente está el mirador. Ah. ¿A cuánto da tiempo? No. Tres minutos. Ahí okay. está la cascada y se ve así para abajo. Ahí. Ah, ok. Para el mirador está ahí enfrente. Ese es un mirador. Yo puedo mirar. Uh, este, de, sí. sí. Eh, dos más para abajo, uno a 400 metros, otro 700 metros para abajo. A las siete, a, como a las 7 y media, al oscurecer, cierra una puerta que está aquí abajo. Ok, ok. okay. Yeah. Sí. Eh, abrir um, a, a las 8 mañana. Mañana, sí. A las 8. Ok, ok, entiendo. Ya puede salir, en la noche no puede salir. Sí, sí, ok, ok, gracias. Eh, yo aquí me quedo también. Uh, yo, tú. Sí. Sí, aquí está bien. Ah, ok. Ay, ah, sí. sí. Ahí es mi casa. Ay, ah, ¿qué casa? Ah, sí, ah uh, mi casa. Ajá, muy bien. Ah, uh, ¿Tú quieres uh, ver? Mm. 
Okay. okay. <laughs> ¿De dónde vienen? ¿Ah? ¿De dónde vienen? Um, Inglaterra. ¿En Inglaterra? Sí. Ah, muy bien. Oh, mm. muy bien, ¿eh? Muy amplio. Sí. Cocina. Um, I don't know how to say in Spanish. Uh, fridge, oven, uh, uh, calor. Ah, aire. Sí. Muy bien. Gracias. Perfecto. No, <laughs> Gracias. Mío, no, no más. Yeah. Un colchón no para más. dormir, sí. Colchón. Sí. Ahí <laughs> afuera. Yeah, Cocinar. sí, sí. <laughs> Look at this. Look how beautiful Chihuahua is. People say Chihuahua is known for cartel. Be careful, don't go to Chihuahua. But look at it. Got friendly people at the gift shop. You got beautiful views here. You can't really go wrong, can you? Ah, oh, it's muy bonita. The plan is tomorrow is to walk down to the bottom of that waterfall and then back up again. But right now we're gonna go to Betty Buys because we're knackered from this all this driving, aren't we, Abby? I'm gonna make some tacos. <laughs> Abby's gonna make some tacos and I'm probably gonna do nothing. <laughs> Hola. What's up, man? Buenas noches. You speak English? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit. No, bro. Fan. Solo español. Solo español. ¿Qué vino? Vino. Vino. Ah, vino. Wine, yeah. Tequila. Eso en México. Ah, güey. Caliente. ¿Por qué es en botella de coca? Porque es eso aquí. Oh, you made it ma ma make it here. Yeah, All right. Caliente. Tastes nice. Sabor. Sab <laughs> ah, sabrosa. <laughs> How do you, um, why do you speak such good English? I lived in the United States. Oh, did you? Which Phoenix, part? Arizona. Phoenix. Oh, okay. Yeah, we went to Phoenix. And uh, Tuscon? Seven years I lived and Yeah, it's three. Three different schools. Three different schools. Yeah. What did you uh, trabajo? Nothing. I work here in Cabañas. But did you work in in America? No. Uh, oh, just school. Years old. You're 18 now. Yeah. Are you? I'm 18. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, because we um we spent two months in America okay. before coming in. Uh, a lot of the Americans who say don't go to Mexico it's, yeah. it's dangerous, but <laughs> it's more dangerous in the United States than Mexico. Do you think so? Yeah, because maybe the narcos and all that. Yeah. Are, ugh, dangerous. Don't. They don't. They don't molest. They don't bother people. Normal people like us. Yeah. They only fight against the other cartels. It's all just cartel and yeah, cartel, cartel fighting. Cartel, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Obviously, they kill people that are sending piedra or all that. Drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They kill people. Yeah. Selling it. But in the United States, we don't go. But here, we don't go to schools. Yeah. Fire to yeah. students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They there's there's a lot of that in, in, in America. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah scary. Shootings and stuff. Yeah. It's stupid. Mm. It's more dangerous in the United States for that. It's more. Different than in Mexico. We kill a lot of people, yeah. <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> a lot of people die because of that. Last five hours is a lot. Woke up at five, wow. yeah. It's a well. <laughs> Nine hours mm. drive time. The bote? The bote? Okay. ¿Qué es esta? ¿Qué es esta? Sí. ¿Es el radio? ¿Radio? Sí. Uh, ¿Por qué no telefona signal? Es no. que te, te conectas, te comunicas cada mil metros con él. Ah, oh, like um, 
like Ranger. Z. 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 We were actually in bed, almost going to sleep until one of them, I can't remember his name now, but the guy who owns the Lavento, the shop, uh, just came banging on the window. So like, oh, who's this? Who's this? He looked out the window and he's just like, tequila? So, uh, yeah, I went out and had some tequila, had some good chats, some friendly chihuahuans. And then, yeah, went to sleep. Got up a bit later than we wanted to. But, yeah, going to crack on with the day and go down to the Cascada. Abby's already up and ready. That's low I go. Yeah, yeah. It sounded so different when you said it. Huh? It so when you said it. Yeah, probably wouldn't have understood it otherwise. <laughs> right, start our journey. About midday, which wasn't as planned. But that's alright, it's all good. So walking along here, we keep getting strong whiffs of marijuana. And that is because it's known throughout this national park and all the way through the Copper Canyon that the cartel will grow cannabis because it's perfect growing conditions inside of the canyon, inside of the valleys. So we're very often getting that whiff of cannabis in the air. <laughs> I'll stand behind here because of the wind. Cascada de Pesaseshi. The second largest cascada waterfall in Mexico. Just look at the size. I'm not actually sure where the largest one is, but look how beautiful this is. You can see a rainbow down here. And all the water just thundering down onto the bottom, causing a hell of a current. This is beautiful Chihuahua, Chihuahua Bonita. There is so much spray coming off from the waterfall that it actually feels like it's raining. You go find one. <laughs> Is it cold? Yeah. So day three of adventuring around Chihuahua the small town of Creo. Let's go have a look what's around here. Yeah, I think that looks good. More Mexican style. Yeah, that's good. Are you happy with that? Uh, si, uh, yo quiero comprar esta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Ah, no quiero, gracias. So yeah, looking a lot more Mexican style now with my new jumper. A blend in. No one even thinks I'm a tourist or anything now. Look at the state of some of the roads here in Chihuahua. Hey, Abby. Our first road like this. Cruise control. Go on the steering wheel. Do your work. That's it. Bit to the left, please. No. Nope. There we go. Thank you, steering wheel. Magic. They're good, these Ford Transits. Yeah. Buenas tardes. Buenos dias, is it? No, buenas tardes. So give him a lolly. <sighs> I give two kids lollies, and now the whole village wants lollies. Right. ¿Quieres doce? Tu hermano? Tu hermano? Esta hermano? Si? Sí. So this is one of the other many tourist attractions here in Chihuahua. Look at all the gift stores they've got for all the tourists. Thousands of tourists that come here every day. <laughs> what? Thousands. Mm-hmm. Coming there thousands. Hola. Hola. It seems like a lot of these places have all shut up. I don't know if it's for the season or if this is what just what it's always like. Because the whole walk has just been full of these stalls all the way down of people trying to sell things, and there's more people trying to sell things than there is tourists, there are <laughs> and there are visitors, and there's a lot which are empty as well. So I can't imagine if they ever get full, whether it, this place ever gets busy. Maybe it's off season right now, I don't know. But there's all people from the local area trying to sell all their handicrafts. This looks like a good one for a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Abby's always thinking about wine. No, I'm not. I don't even drink alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so here behind me is another waterfall. Not as big as the one yesterday, but still beautiful. Look at the emerald pools. You can imagine in the monsoon season, this would be gushing down with heavy water. But right now, just a little trickle. And beyond there, is another entrance into the Copper Canyon. We're gonna explore the depths, or more of the depths of the Copper Canyon tomorrow, when we go to El Desevadero. Take the plunge! Plunge ball! <laughs> Morning. Are you already up, are you? Oh, yeah. What view have we woken up to today then? Oh, that's the Copper Canyon. Who put that there? Good morning, Buenos dias, and welcome to what is known as the Copper Canyon here in Chihuahua. Now the reason for its name, the Copper Canyon, is because when the Spanish arrived here in the 1700s, they excavated the land for gold, silver and copper. And mining operations still go on today throughout the Copper Canyon, which makes Mexico the leading producer of silver in the world. Now we're going to walk down towards the cable car, I know, touristy, catch the cable car down into the depths of the canyon and have a wander around and see what we see. Hard to communicate when you can't see them. Yeah, I know, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> A su derecha 
las flechas verdes y se nota para pasar. So we've just stepped foot off of the touristy cable car. The platform is literally just up there where everyone stays. And we're taking a little walk around the canyon. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? The Copper Canyon is actually a series of six canyons. And all canyons combined make it larger, four times larger actually, than the Grand Canyon. And obviously the Grand Canyon is really dry being where the position of the world where it is. Whereas this l luscious vegetation everywhere. Looks like there's some goats coming. So we're gonna get out of the way of the goats. Hola. Hola, buenos Hola. días. Tiene mucho animal. <laughs> ¿Tú vives aquí? Sí, en esa casa. Ah, en esa casa, oh. sí. Ah, Mirado es uh, bonita. Ah, <laughs> sí. ¿Dónde vienen? Ah, ¿Cómo? ¿De dónde vienen? Ah, ¿De Inglaterra? Uh -huh. Sí. ¿A <laughs> dónde van? Ah, yo no sé. Uh, maybe one hora and then back. Okay. Uh, okay. Bajo. Sí. Sí. Uh, es bonita. Sí. Sí. Uh, gracias. Okay. Gracias. So the people who live inside of the Copper Canyon, oh, just had a grass on my bed, <laughs> are the Ramurai people like the person we just met there. They're an indigenous type of people who have lived throughout the canyon. Oh, there's something on my camera. There's some really big insects around here. And many of them don't speak even speak a word of Spanish. They speak their local language, the Ramarayan language. And, and they were able to protect their culture and way of life from when the Spanish invaded 400 years ago by hiding deep within the Copper Canyon system. So they're indigenous people who still live today. Look at this prickly pear. This from the cactus. Not sure how much further I'm gonna go to be honest. Oh, I imagine I slipped into that. Because this path my sketches big some of the grasshoppers are is but compared to my foot it's massive yeah i think it is like a canyon <laughs> so i'm out back up with abby and we are heading towards a village a poco pueblo all right donkey this would be where some of the villagers live, looking over the canyon. They do a lot of farming. We've got solar panels. I reckon it's probably like a, a company. Well, Abby said that, but I'm taking credit for it. As always. <laughs> Hola. Como esta? It's got people's houses just here. Let's give a little look. Hola. 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 ¿Cómo está? Hola. Buenas. ¿Cómo está? Old 
little deer there. Oh, hello dog. So I think that's it. Um, I hope you got to see some of the way that the Ramurai people live. Obviously we didn't go too far off the tourist trail, having the cable car literally just over there. But maybe next time we'll adventure more into the depths of the Copper Canyon and explore the Ramurai traditions. But for now, I think we've seen enough what we need to see. So yeah, if you ever want to come to Chihuahua, don't be scared what people say. There are cartel here, but they don't bother normal people like me and you. They've got their own battles to win. So yeah, that's it for now from Chihuahua. Goodbye, adios, hasta la vega. Adios. <laughs>